look at the effect in the bellies on those baits. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Chris Jones. Thank you for watching the world's worst fishing, taking time out of your busy schedules. Um, yeah, today's gonna be fun. We are bringing something completely new and fresh to you guys. Um, I've never done any of this sort of effect on camera before. I haven't done a lot of it to begin with. Um, usually only in hand pour worm situations. Um, but today we're going to be playing with some very shiny hologram space age looking effects. Uh, and it's so simple uh, is what's amazing about it. Um, we're basically using this stuff right here. So that is cellophane, okay? This is like chopped up cellophane. You can see it's like real hologram. And then we're using basically a sheet, a roll version of that, okay? Yeah, look at that. And this is known as glitter film, um, which it's kind of basically the same thing. So uh, basically we're gonna be playing with some effects using those two materials. And I mean, the, the vivid, bright, shiny, hologram i mean it it doesn't even look real it's so awesome um so we're going to be playing with some uh ideas that i've got in mind uh for, for those shiny hologram um materials obviously if you clicked on the video you've seen the thumbnail so you kind of know where things are going today but i think it's going to be super exciting and uh we'll talk about you know where to get this stuff and uh, a couple ideas on how to use it and of course stay tuned for the end of this video to see this video's color of the day. Okay, so I have a few molds laid out here. These are the 10 inch open pour uh, worm molds. That's a 10 inch worm right there. And uh, let's see, I did a video featuring this mold uh, about a month, month and a half ago. I called it the impossible worm pour. So check that video out if you want to see this mold get pushed to its limit. <laughs> well, and me get pushed to my limit. Uh, but I figured for today, we'll show you how to use some of this shiny hologram stuff, okay? Glitter film, if you will, in a hand pour worm and a hand pour swim bait. And the exact technique that I'm gonna use for this hand pour swim bait, you can also do in any injection mold, okay, that you wanna do. Uh, so what we're gonna start with is the worms. We're gonna do the worms first. And we're gonna use this, come on, focus for me. There we go. We're gonna use these celloph cellophane, um, flakes so to speak yeah and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying these flakes down in the mold and then pouring over it so a um, little time consuming but super cool in fact let me go get an example of some of these that i did using that technique yeah so there are some worms right there you can see that cellophane uh, effect in them kind of two-tone with a black tail. We'll probably wind up doing something very similar to this, but there is an example of uh, some of the kind of trickery that you can get from these materials. All right, so I've got my uh, fans turned off because if your fans are turned on, it just blows this stuff out of the molds. Yeah, so this stuff right here, it's really cool. It's real messy, however. Um, so like I said, you really don't want your fans blowing or anything like that. And basically, we're just going to put it in the mold. There's really no secret to it necessarily. You know, it's just time. You, know, you just have to sit out here and make yourself do this. But the effect is so awesome. Kind of on up into the tail a little bit. Okay. I know it's, it's really hard to see that. Like, it's even hard to kind of see it in person. <laughs> So the camera may not pick it up perfectly, but this is what I'm doing. Basically just setting it inside the mold. And I really only want it in the body part. Just the tails are a little bit flatter and I think it's gonna stay in the mold better in the uh, deeper body section, if that makes sense. Let's see, yeah. There again, you know this stuff's messy, but that's bait making. It's not always a black tie sort of hobby, right? Okay, alrighty. Gonna continue putting a few flakes in there. And what I have found is the more the merrier. 
All right. Yeah, there we go. That's basically what we're doing. And uh, I am just figured I would do six worms. That's enough to get a good handful after we're done, but uh, I don't want to be out here all day doing these. So, because we still have to do some swim baits too. Okay, so all the molds have the uh, cellophane in there and uh, I wanted to make mention real fast, I got this stuff at a local craft store, like a Michael's craft store. Um, so sourcing something like this should not be um, too difficult and it was just a couple of bucks. Okay, so this is Dead On Plastics uh, Black Bucket Swim Bait Blend, which is sort of a medium durometer plastic, which is what I like to pour these larger size worms in. And we're gonna hook them up with some Dip Your Car Hyper Shift CTP. That's gonna be the body color that's going to uh, be poured over the uh, cellophane flakes. All right. That should look pretty spectacular. You can see the eh, color spectrum there. Well, maybe there it is. Yeah. And of course, I do have an affiliate program with Dip Your Car for these uh, pigments. So if you want to buy some of these pigments, there will be a link in the description below. And any purchase you make there helps support this channel. So I would uh, more than appreciate any uh, support there. All right, and now we're gonna add just a little bit of small black flake, just for texture. That is the 0 .015 size. Nothing too fancy here on the color. Well, the pigment is fancy, but we're not uh, blending five different things, 10 different things. Yeah, that's nice and see-through. We might add a smidge more of this and then we're good. All right, here we go. We wanna pour this stuff incredibly hot. That way it really fills in all around that cellophane. Cause that cellophane can actually like block the plastic from kind of flowing, if you know what I mean. And sometimes you won't really fill in the cavity completely. So what I found is pouring it incredibly hot will sort of help mitigate that. If you were to pour this stuff cold, then it would kind of start to clump up on that cellophane and it wouldn't really fill in the cavity all the way. And then you would have what looks like injection denting, oops, in your uh, cavity, which you do not want, of course. Okay. It's so basically pour them hot as hell. And uh, to me, that's your best um, chance of getting a full cavity. Okay, so some more dead on plastic swim bait blend there. And we're going to make the tails black. Okay, so five drops of black. Should get them nice and dark. <clears throat> we don't want it uh, too thick, however. That's about there. Maybe a little thicker. Okay. But then we're going to add some color shift to this as well. These worms are going to be very visible. Just like everything we're making today. Super vibrant, in your face, loud, shiny, space age, you name it. Every adjective that we can give it. Okay. Yeah, this is another Dip Your Car special. Alien Pearl right there. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to add some more of that. Oh my God, look at that effect though. Yep, we need more Alien. All right, look at that. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> All right, so now we're just going to fill in some tail portions. Okay. See if I can do this around the camera. Actually, it's a little better if I start in the, ah, screw it. Start back here. Wanna do this very hot as well. Okay. Just like that. 
set that down to dry. I always kind of have better luck just picking the mold up and pouring it, uh, especially in that tail section. We'll do one uh, laying down though. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so now I've got the griddle cranked up and we are basically going to heat the molds in order to melt these junctions together. Yep, that right there is not gonna fly. However, once we heat the molds up, they will basically liquefy the plastic um, and bond those two parts together. So there we go. All right, let's take one out. See what we got. We um, put them in uh, some water to kind of cool the molds down somewhat quickly. So, let me like try to find a spot where I can get it started. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Ha ha ha. Look at that effect, the hyper shift and the uh, cellophane flake. And then check out the tails, that black color shift there, black with the alien pearl. Awesome stuff, isn't it? Worms do not have to be boring. Yeah, check this out. Pretty neat. Such a cool effect. Hopefully that's coming through on camera. Nothing like it, y'all. Nothing like it. Well, just ruin that little pile of worms. Yeah, isn't that something? Super cool. And before we get to the swim baits, I uh, wanted to show you guys a recent swim bait pour that I did. This is um, <clears throat> kind of modeled after a brim bluegill that I saw uh, on Instagram, I believe it was. And uh, there are five skin layers poured on this. So we have kind of like our black striping. We then have a layer of brown striping. We have some gray striping um, to kind of fill in some color. We have that golden orange throat and then that blue belly. Um, Jetson lure eye to match that's the blue squid and I was really happy with these just posted them on Instagram uh, a couple days ago and um, oh, yeah super awesome with that so uh, if y'all want to see some videos on this kind of thing um, just let me know in the comments below all right now it's time to play with the actual uh, roll of this stuff roll of glitter film and Basically, what I want to do is sandwich some of this stuff between the two halves of the mold. Um, and I want to do it kind of just in the belly portion, just in the top portion, or excuse me, just in the, uh, just in the uh, head portion, so to speak. I'll show you what I mean by that. So first, I want to cut a strip of this stuff, okay? It's very, very, very easy to work with. And let's just grab one here. I want it to only go up just kind of this belly portion. I don't want to necessarily make the whole bait this film. Now you certainly can, um, but then you're kind of, the, the plastic is now cut in half, essentially, and it's not bonding to itself, and I think you'll get a weaker bait. Plus this looks really cool in the belly section. So I want to stop it about here because I really don't want my foil going all the way through the tail section because you're you're essentially, putting a solid piece of material all the way through the tail section, your bait's gonna be a lot stiffer. It's not gonna have the action that you want. And, uh, and I don't think it'll have the durability that you want. So basically, I'm going to cut this about right here. Okay. All right. Let's get our uh, hook slide insert here. And about that 
is what I want. Okay, you can see that's going to leave me room for a top color. All right. Now we're just going to close the mold. There we go. That is what we're doing. And now we can pour a belt bottom color and then a top color and essentially have a laminate. Okay, so um, one more time. I'm going to do it for... Uh, I think I just split up my molds. Did I? Did I really just split up my molds? I don't know. We'll do this. There we go. So we are going to cut out another sheet. Luckily, this stuff is extremely cheap, so you're not blown through a lot of money by wasting some of it. Seems fairly easy to work with. All right. We're going to cut it off again. It's a, it's a fairly simple idea, really. There's not a whole lot to it. We're basically just doing that. And then closing the mold. There's a cool shot of it right there. That's just the reflection of that stuff off of the side of the mold. The actual film is in the center where the hook slot insert is. But I mean, you can see where things are going here. That is already incredible. Okay, we are going to pour just the belly section in just straight clear. To me, that gets the coolest effect. And you kind of have to make sure that you're getting plastic on either side of the film so that you get an even pour. Okay, looks like that filled in pretty good. On to the next one. really want things to fill in normally because you know you have to keep in mind you're essentially putting a barrier down the middle of your mold so it's kind of a flawed technique in that sense and you know you are technically stiffening your bait so you know if you really wanted to nitpick you could say well this actually gives you less action and maybe it does but you know to, to me it would be kind of nominal it would not be a huge difference. Okay, another Dip Your Car Hyper Shift, ZTG. It's a green to blue shift. I think it'll look really cool um, with the uh, glitter film bellies that we're doing here. One drop of black, that'll saturate it a little bit more. Let's see what that does for us. Oh yeah. All right, let's fill these in. Looking good. Nice and slow. Is that out of focus? Hold on, people. All right, and hopefully, hopefully this will all stay in focus for you. So anyway, we're gonna top these all off with this green stuff here. Yeah. Slow it down just a smidge. Beautiful. I thought maybe the lighting over here, out of direct lighting, might show you this effect a little bit better. Look at that. Just wanna make sure the worms get their glory because um, it's so stunning in person, you know, like a lot of these real vivid shiny color shifty effects You can really only appreciate it in person. All right Let's see what happened here drum roll, please Dun 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 This should look pretty crazy Oh my gosh <laughs> Look at that. So it looks like the film, this part, maybe sank a little bit. So next time I would try to put it a little higher in the mold. That way it would kind of go all the way up to the top layer. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there, uh, but I don't mind it so much. And you'll notice that the film obviously is still sticking out of the bottom of the bait. <clears throat> 
not to worry because here's what you do so cool you basically just cut it off and then later we'll come back with the heat gun and basically just melt this off as if it was regular flashing okay so you can see there's still a little bit of it sticking out but look at that effect it's got that iridescent shiny belly look at that all right there's thumbnail for you right there look at the effect in the bellies on those baits does that not look just so realistic it's so vibrant got the worms back out yeah that's thumbnail right there okay so let's fix these up i already put my eyes on this is the angling ai five inch hand pour swim bait mold okay trying to get it to where you can see well anyway basically i'm just going to take the heat gun all right and just kind of lightly heat gun the hook slot area all right And you always want to keep the heat gun moving that way you don't just melt one part way too much all right and just to show you real fast here they are and you can see no more flashing out the ends of the bait they are cleaned up and looking as professional uh, as as any other clean pour and uh, does that not speak for itself right there you know, and, and this is just one idea. This is just one idea that I had to put this stuff just in the belly. You can certainly do it in the full bait. Uh, you can chop it up and put little pieces in, like large flake. Um, you know, obviously you could do a triple layer laminate. You could use a different color top. This is just one idea. So, yeah, let your imagination go with this. This is just glitter film from Lureworks. It's very cheap. And uh, if you have the patience to sit out here and do this, uh, you're going to get some awesome results just like that. Okay, today's color of the day, watermelon candy. And there are several variations of it. This is how I like to do it. I'm just going to start with, you guessed it, some Lureworks Watermelon 101. Excellent watermelon. And if you want an exact formula, measure out one measuring cup of plastic and do about 45 drops of the watermelon. That'll get you in a good place. Ooh. All right, looking good there. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more pigment here. All righty, we're gonna go with that. And then just a couple of flakes. I like to add medium hexagon black flake. All right. This is all the 0 .035 stuff. You can use 0 .04 or just whatever you have as medium. Also gonna do some medium green flake. And last but not least, medium purple or black grape, whatever purple you prefer. Okay. And that is watermelon candy. Makes a great frog color. We are going to make this in some AI punch bugs, okay? So I have the punch bug mold waiting by. Yeah, looking real good. We might add just a little bit more flake to it, but um, that is the recipe, just watermelon pigment, uh, green flake, purple flake, black flake. All right, let's take a look at our color of the day. Oh yeah, bring it. Bring it a little closer to you. There it is. Gorgeous watermelon candy. Look at that. Oh man. Simple colors are the best sometimes. And that is a really good simple color. It's very easy to make. And uh, it looks good in just about everything you can make it in. So watermelon candy is this video's color of the day. Man, was that not awesome. I cannot believe I have not done this a lot more sooner. Uh, you know, when I started using that cellophane flake, that was really all I could find. I knew that you could get it in like rolls and sheets. 
uh, you know, I just never went online and did it. Uh, and none of my local craft stores had the role of it. And then Luberworks started carrying it uh, as glitter film. And, um, you know, I, I saw a few guys using it. And I said, hmm, I need to get some of that because I only had that uh, flaky cellophane stuff. And I knew what kind of effects you could get from this material. And uh, I just finally pulled the trigger on it and super glad that I did. It's not something that I want to do every day. You know, it's, it's as time consuming as that uh, skin pouring stuff. Uh, so, you know, you really have to have some time, I think, to dedicate to it. Um, but hey, like I said, those are just two ideas. You know, just the worm and the swim bait. And uh, good gosh almighty, there's so many guys are now going to take this and run with it. So I'm really excited to see what everyone comes up with. I think those are super cool results. And, you know, I don't have a ton of experience with this. So um, I think it's something that you can get and get awesome results with very quickly. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's like the first time you see hyper shift. You're just like, what? So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please, lots of comments down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. And, of course, we will see you next time.